Tonight, this sea lion is making a comeback after it was found with fishing line wrapped so tight that it was cutting into its neck. It's a horrific act that, um, that someone would do this to an animal that's just really just trying to fend for themselves. 10 News was the only crew there as a Coast Guardsman made the heartbreaking find. And new at 6 o'clock, military reporter Hannah Mullen shows how its injuries were worse than expected. The sea lion right back there had also been shot in the eye. The bullet was lodged in its jaw and the rescue was anything but easy. We could see the line was actually eating into the side of his face and that had actually healed over. Some of the line was buried underneath the skin. And without help, the line would mean the end. Dr. Todd Schmidt tried to catch the animal for two hours, but he seemed to have security <laughs> and he kept slipping away. You want to help him and yet you can't get you know, close to him and that's, you know, that's part of wildlife. Two months later, he was back on the dock, but growing frail. A boat crept up in case he fell in the water. Schmidt hit him with a trank dart and they headed to SeaWorld. So that is off. X-rays revealed what looked like a battle wound with shrapnel in his eye socket. It went through his eye and it lodged, it's lodged back in the throat. And he has a theory. These animals may be desperate for food. He thinks fishermen may be out to kill more than fish. Probably following a fishing vessel. I mean, this is point blank range. Whatever happened, he could have lost a lot more than nine. Hey, bud. It's a horrific act that someone yeah. would do this to an animal that's really just trying to fend for themselves. But you saved him. You saved him. He's actually doing quite well. <laughs> he should be healthy enough to head home in about a month. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. That's some good news. We wish him well. And they will hand the bullet off to National Marine Fisheries to see if they want to do testing and go after the shooter.